Hey guys and what is up, it's your boy Crash Ties here. Over the past couple of months, I've gotten into new game series that I haven't played before, being the Crackdown series on Xbox. And for a while now, I've been wanting to talk about these games on my YouTube channel, so in today's video, I'll be reviewing the original Crackdown game. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the review. Crackdown is an insanely fun open world sandbox game which gives the player a ton of freedom alongside having a really rewarding levelling up system and a very fun collectathon aspect. Developed by Real Time Worlds and released for the Xbox 360 in 2007, Crackdown is an open world sandbox third person shooter in which you take control of a genetically modified agent of justice with superhuman capabilities with the mission of ridding Pacific City of three separate criminal organisations that each hold control over a portion of the city with you needing to eliminate each gang's key members and kingpin in order to wipe out the gangs completely and reclaim Pacific City. As soon as you start the game and finish the tutorial, the entire map of Pacific City is open to you and you can go after the three gangs and their key members and kingpins in any order you like. You could play it safe by starting out with the weakest gang and eliminating all its key members before tackling the kingpin and moving on to the next gang, or you could head straight for the kingpin of the toughest gang and probably get your ass handed to you. The choice is yours and yours alone. Although you can tackle the gangs and gang members in any order you want, taking out all of the gang's key members and saving its kingpin for last will lower the kingpin's defences and make him more vulnerable, giving you an easier time for when it comes time to invade your compound and take them out. Each kingpin and key gang member also has multiple ways of being approached, which opens up some room for experimentation and also adds more replay value for potential replays of the game. In terms of gameplay, your agent has five sets of skills, being strength, agility, firearms, explosives and driving. All of your agent's skills start out pretty weak at first, but as you put them to the test and keep using them, they level up and become stronger. As you continue to use firearms, your aiming focus and accuracy will increase. As you keep using explosives, your grenades and mines will do more damage. As you keep using physical attacks, you'll be able to pick up and throw heavier objects. As you continue to hunt down agility orbs scattered across city rooftops, you'll be able to run faster, jump higher, and scale massive buildings with ease. And as you run over enemies and vehicles, you'll become a much better driver. It's honestly really satisfying and rewarding seeing your skills level up as you continue to use them and witnessing your agent gradually become even stronger to the point where you feel like an unstoppable brute. As you fight thugs and gang leaders, you'll mainly be using firearms to get the job done, and for the most part, the shooting mechanics in Crackdown work well enough, with an auto-aiming system that'll snap right onto targets, with you also being able to select which body part of an enemy or part of a vehicle that you want to fire at. Though oftentimes, you'll find yourself aiming at something or someone that you weren't intending on targeting, which can get quite annoying. And depending on the type of gun you're using or body part of an enemy you're aiming at, you'll also have to wait a little bit for your agent to focus in order to get the most accurate shots possible, which can leave you momentarily open and vulnerable. You can also achieve a lot of explosive mayhem in Crackdown with you being able to create massive explosions in multiple ways like blowing up a ton of vehicles that are close together, placing tons of mines next to each other and blasting thugs to kingdom come with frags and rocket launchers. These massive explosions are a sheer spectacle to look at and they are very fun and satisfying to pull off. In terms of getting around the map of Pacific City, there's plenty of vehicles that you can use to drive yourself around the place. Though once your agent's agility is at a high enough level, you can also get around the city by scaling up buildings and leaping from rooftops, which I find to be a way more fun and faster way of getting around the place. And something that really adds to the fun of parkouring across the city rooftops is the hundreds of agility orbs you can collect, which are scattered all across the game's map. Collecting these levels up your agility skill level, like I said earlier, but hunting them down alone is also a really fun aspect of Crackdown in of itself, 
And as well as the agility orbs, there's also these special orbs which are much more hidden than the agility orbs. Though they also add to all of your skills and not just your agility, helping you level up all of your skills faster. Regarding Pacific City itself, it isn't a very spectacular city and there's nothing in it that really stands out aside from the few very tall structures that are a challenge to climb up. But it does feel lived in, with city streets being heavily populated with civilians and random gunfights breaking out between gang thugs and peacekeepers. Aside from killing thugs, taking down gang leaders and hunting for orbs, there's also a couple of optional side activities you can do, like time trial rooftop races and road races, and vehicle stunt rings for you to go through, and doing them can also help you level up certain skills. As well as single player, you can also play Crackdown with a friend online, and aside from the main campaign, there's a few other gameplay modes, like a time trials mode, where you race to see how fast you can kill gang leaders, a street racing mode, where you partake in vehicle races and it's probably better than GT7, and the keys to the city mode, which is just a campaign mode, but you have a cheats menu at your disposal. In terms of the game's presentation, Crackdown looks decent for the time, albeit a little bit outdated, probably because it was originally planned to be released on the OG Xbox. Though its comic book art style is pretty nice and it helps alleviate the game's visuals from looking too outdated, and the game's UI is nice and slick and easy to read. Audio wise, the game's sound effects are alright, and the big boss man who regularly narrates on what you should be doing is a pretty cool sounding guy. However, there isn't much to talk about regarding the music, as most of it is just licensed tracks that you'll only ever hear if you decide to drive in a vehicle, though the music chosen for the main menu is quite nice. All in all, Crackdown is an awesome and insanely fun game which gives the player a lot of freedom and has probably the most satisfying and rewarding levelling up system that I've ever seen in any video game to date, alongside having a very fun collect fun aspect and the few issues it does have never manage to get too in the way of all the fun. Crackdown is a game I definitely recommend you play if you just want to have a ton of fun, and it's also completely free digitally on the Microsoft Store and backwards compatible on newer Xbox consoles. So yeah, that was my review of the original Crackdown game, a cracking good game. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my video, I really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed watching this video, then I'm glad you enjoyed it too. Anyway, I'll see you all later in the next video. Peace out guys.